On the morning of 19th April 2023, the Meghalaya Chief Minister, Conrad K. Sangma, had inspected the ongoing renovation work at the sports complex situated at Polo, Shillong. He was accompanied by officials of the sports department and members of the Meghalaya Football Association, engineers and other government officials. Speaking to reporters, Conrad K. Sangma said that the ongoing renovation work at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium is expected to be completed by November 2023. On the first ground at the Puro Sports Complex, the Meghalaya Chief Minister informed that the particular area will be covered with astroturf so as to upgrade it to one of the best football grounds in the country. While inspecting the construction of the indoor stadium, Konrad Sangma informed that once completed, the multi-purpose indoor sports complex will be considered the best in the entire northeastern region of India. Now uh, come to see the renovation work uh, going on at the uh, GN Stadium and uh, uh, from the looks of it, uh, work is going on at very good speed and uh, as you can see, the uh, football ground will now be a natural turf, all of the seeds have been sown and we expect the field uh, now to, uh, the football field to, to come up with the natural turf. At the same time, as you can see, we also have uh, new stands that are coming up which will then enhance the overall cap seating capacity of the stadium. So we expect uh, maybe close to about 30,000 uh, capacity to be there in this field. And uh, the entire arrangements and the uh, way the work is going on, uh, we are going to meet the FIFA standards. And hence, uh, this particular stadium and field, uh, the football field especially, will be at the par to host any international games in the future. Apart from that, the stadium also will have full uh, facilities for athletics and hence we'll have uh, the track and field as well as uh, long jump and high jump and other uh, disciplines also uh, and hence uh, even the quality that's being maintained here for uh, the track and field also are uh, top of the line. So we expect that this particular stadium should be completed within this calendar year. The work that's going on in the Polo, in uh, the first ground, uh, as you can see that uh, we have put uh, the AstroTurf uh, already and uh, final laying of uh, other uh, materials will be done, the granules and uh, other rubber uh, pieces that are put in. Uh, we expect that this entire work should be completed by uh, July and you can see that there will be also a new stand at the back that will be coming up. So we will see the expansion of the stadium. So this is a upgradation that's taking place. Um, as we know that uh, football is one of the sports that our youth are very much connected with. And hence, uh, in the long term, we will also see more uh, stands uh, coming up on the other side, on the river side also of, uh, of this field. Uh, but apart from that, the government has also decided that we are going to now start looking at different uh, locality fields, uh, different fields in different uh, uh, places, in different towns, different cities, where our youth normally play football. And in collaboration with the community and uh, the local leaders, uh, we would want to upgrade these different facilities where our youth are playing. So we will see a large number. We are already uh, serving in Shillong city itself. And we have identified about close to five locations where we could potentially lay this kind of uh, astroturf. Uh, so that process also will start very soon. Uh, so now we are uh, at the third location, which is the uh, indoor stadium uh, that is coming up, a multi-purpose indoor stadium, which uh, when completed uh, will be the largest uh, multi-purpose indoor stadium in the entire Northeast region. And uh, this particular indoor stadium will have all facilities uh, from basketball, indoor basketball, squash, badminton, uh, multi-purpose halls for uh, uh, table tennis, volleyball. Uh, so all different kind of activities will be possible here and most of the disciplines when we combine all the three stadiums will be able to see that uh, we'll be able to cover most of the major disciplines uh, that are there and uh, even with this uh, uh, very very standard and uh, state-of-the-art uh, indoor stadium will be able to uh, in the future uh, host uh, national 
level tournaments as well as international level tournaments also. So the work is going on at full uh, speed. Of course, uh, the foundations are just being laid as you can see, uh, but this work will take a bit more time. Uh, so we do expect that this also be completed soon, but I'm happy to see the progress of the work. And once these kind of infrastructures throughout the state come up, uh, this will be a great uh, blessing and an opportunity for the youth of our state who are very, very much into sports.